Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. We are back from the break on this channel and today I have something special for you guys. So, here I have my beauty Honda CBR 650R. It looks amazing. I washed it up yesterday, put some wax on it, some Teflon um, soap and so on. Here it is and today we're going to be removing this plastic sheet over here. Yeah. I, I don't find it sexy at all. Let's get some angles here. So the way we do this, we need to remove some plastics first of all. We need to remove this one and this and then seats and as well as few screws that are connected over here and that's how we're going to get it out and you will also need like these screwdrivers i don't know what what they're called in english and of course your plate holder over here um i will leave a link down in the description if you want to check it out it's 50 euros or 50 dollars um you get the light as well in here and it's a super uh great quality so no problem there and yeah let's start so first things first we need to open the seats the way we do this is by putting our key in this little hole over here as you can see uh, let's do this real quickly okay you just twist the key and pull this thing out of it so first of all you need to know another thing uh, you need to separate the screws because they are not the same all around and yeah, okay, okay. So usually you should have everything you need in this little box over here. Let me bought this little baggie. Yes. So there should be a screwdriver uh, that you need to take. So as you see, yes, you do have to be with it. So what you need to do is remove this seat. So this one, this screw and this screw, as well as these two ones and then we'll see from there so let me set up the view and we will get on going okay so I removed the main seat over here by using this one this uh, screw uh, yeah you just uh, as I told you before so here are the screws actually so this is actually for me I'm playing this video because I don't want to forget which one is for which so now here's the the main thing guys okay so this is the most important part of this, should I say, project. Because here are the cables to the blinkers and as well as the light over here that lights the plate. So now what we need to do is first of all remove this screwdriver over here and as well as this one and then also these two over here that I told you before about them. And yeah, let's start. Okay. So I removed those four screw, screws, so these black ones. They're actually very tight if you do it for the first time, so don't be afraid. Um, also, I noticed that you need to remove these two gray ones over here as well. So don't forget these ones before you do anything weird and stupid. It's just you see it's already moving. So let me remove these ones. Let me check if there's anyone else in here. Uh, it doesn't appear to be, so maybe this one here. You can see and uh, yeah I'll check with you guys when I'm done doing this <sighs> okay here they are took me a long time because it's complicated because of this red light here so watch out for this one now so these two smooth ones now let's try to remove it together right so the way you do this is, is you can put it out like this So it turns out you need to also remove this one over here. Wow, did you look at that? How many screws there are? Okay, let me do this real quick. So those black ones that I showed you earlier are a bit hard to get out. So I don't actually know how we are going to remove those ones. But I figured I may as well remove these ones over here. So this is a screw from that position. So this one over here. Uh, because 
I will also remove this plastic along with this one. So let's do this real quick and I will be with you in a second. Okay, so this is the one part over here. I'll just place that down very quickly. And I managed to remove the screw from underneath here and a piece fell into this little hole inside. I don't know if you can see. That's fucked up, right? So I know, I know right now that I can remove this one safely. Okay, so this one you remove. Just putting it out. Huh? So there is a little plastic piece that you need to undo. Okay, so this is the left one. I mean the right one. Okay. Now this, how you remove this one is not by pulling it out, but rather just doing like this. So I need to remove this part here. There we go. You just pull it out like this, right? Okay, I'll see you in a second. And ladies and gentlemen, we have struck gold. And there you go. There you have it. The way this works is bolted over here, covered by plastics. Of course, so it looks nicer. Now what we need to do is remove these screws and on the other side as well. Then we need to remove the plate over here. We need to remove the blinkers and we need to un unplug um, so the light cords. And it's a really simple thing to do here actually. So the orange color one is actually the left blinker um, and the blue colored one is the right blinker. Okay, so we will do that as soon as best we can. Okay, so uh, we are nearing the end of removing parts. So this is the right side fully removed. Uh, I left one of uh, the screws over here, just like for the spore because the, 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 the gumatsu does the pole itself. So now before we remove it completely, we need to remove or attach the cables. So as I said earlier, we need to, of course, remove the, we just like remove it from this sweet spot over here. This goes inside and you know, boom, outside. Okay, let's remove this protection cover very quickly. Okay, I'll be in second, back in a second when I remove the cover. Okay, so you don't need to remove the cover, I'm sorry. You need to remove this one. So, so, yeah. okay, so, a little bit. so the blue, so the blue is the right one and the left one is orange. I think the white ones are for the lights. So we will remove this real quickly and I will be with you right there. Okay, and there we have it. I unplugged it. It's a pretty simple mechanism. Uh, I think you will ma manage to do that. So now what we need to do is, um, is unscrew every single screw in here, as well as for the plates. And I will be with you in a second. Okay guys, so after 20 minutes of screwing around, I managed to remove the plate. I managed to remove the blinkers. All you need to do is remove all the screws that I said earlier. And as well as these two guys over here. Uh, these two guys. And then after you've done that, you need to remove this part here. So this first part. Just put it out and then you will be able to... The wire, sorry, the wire, it's called the wire. Yeah, so the light, I think I have it over there. I will show you the... When I open it up, so I will open up it now, so you can see. So here it is, so this is the... The plate holder that will be replacing our stock one. So the way it goes, it goes like this. Right, it's looking fucking sexy though already. Jesus Christ, it's perfectly fit. So don't buy it from AliExpress, guys. Buy it from Amazon. I will leave you a link in the below. You will get a discount code. I think so. Let me just show you really quickly what I will do. So this is the light. 
We also have the stockite over here, which won't work because it is uh, like horizontal. This one is vertical. So we will be taking a look at this. See, this wire don't doesn't have the adapter at the end, but we get it in our package here. This white things as well. This black one. I will be placing the blinkers on here. Right. Okay guys, let me quickly show you how I put on the blinkers. So as you can see here, I pretty much put it through that hole in the middle. And here is the complicated part. I was joking around with this like for 20 minutes for sure. So the point is in this. This is in this. So this here comes from this part over here. You will, if you watch the whole video, you will see from which one, but this one comes from this one. So you need to basically, and as well, you need to put this black thing over here, so in the middle, like this. So you put this in, like this, and at the end you put this with the blinkers, and that's it. And that's how you, you make it this one. So that's important. Okay guys, so a little update, so I managed to fix on the lights and they actually work, also the blinkers, I tried it on the, the battery and the way this works, you will get in the box with a plate holder this little connector with this female, um, it's called the female wire, I don't know, something and that's it. amazing to be honest it was a bit of joking around with this light because you need to do it all by yourself if you don't have that cripple cripples it's hard to do so this now we need to put this back on its place um, it's here yes it's here and we want to use some uh, wire uh, some wires to nicely put this all together because wiring needs to be nice you don't want anything to heat up and destroy something you don't want okay and after four hours of hard work and big braining we did it guys this there you go amazing looks amazing fabulous really fabulous Show the relay and really quickly. Next step a bit backwards. Oh, any angle. Good footage here. Guys, this is the best looking bike on the market. Lower than 1000 cc. Let's turn it up. Just show you very quickly. Everything works properly. 